Did you know that a company's working capital is the measure of its liquidity position and financial health? Besides, working capital is also used by every business to fund its day-to-day -day operations and meet its short-term liabilities. This is why it is extremely important for every business to have a strategy in place for managing the working capital. In this video, I will be decoding two terms, working capital and working capital management for you and also tell you why it is essential to effectively manage your working capital in order to achieve faster enterprise growth. Hello and welcome, I'm Annapurna from Clear, from the makers of Clear Tax. It is India's largest tax and financial services platform. Clear serves more than 3,000 large enterprises and more than 4 lakh growing businesses. Please subscribe to our channel to get clear explanations of GST updates and other finance concepts. Working capital is the difference between company's current assets such as cash, inventories and accounts receivable and its current liabilities such as accounts payable and short-term loans. Working capital, also known as net working capital, is a measure of a company's liquidity and financial health. Working capital can be both positive and negative. Positive working capital refers to a situation where the enterprise's current assets are in excess of its current liabilities. Negative working capital is when an enterprise's current liabilities exceed its current assets. It is not a good thing for any business to have negative working capital as that means that the business does not have enough liquid assets to pay off its short-term liabilities. At the same time, it is not favorable for a business to maintain a high net working capital as it indicates that a business has excess inventory or is not wisely investing its cash. This is why working capital management becomes extremely important. Working capital management is the task of effectively and efficiently managing a business's working capital to ensure that it has the liquidity to fund short-term expenses and debt and to also ensure that all of the enterprise's excess cash is utilized effectively. In any organization, inventory is typically purchased from suppliers on credit, goods are manufactured and the final product is also typically sold on credit. The cash collected from customers is then used later to pay off the suppliers and to meet other expenses. This creates the individual components of working capital such as inventories, cash, accounts receivable, accounts payable, etc. Working capital management helps maintain the smooth flow of operations between these components to improve an enterprise's earnings and profitability. Working capital management includes inventory management, cash management, accounts receivable management and accounts payable management. The objective of working capital management includes ensuring a smooth operating cycle, minimizing the cost of capital in regard to working capital and maximizing return on current investments. Next, let me tell you why working capital management is necessary for faster enterprise growth. But before I can proceed, if you have any tax queries that you'd like us to answer, please drop them in the comment section below. Working capital management is essential to ensure that an enterprise's working capital is always positive. Now let's understand how a positive working capital aids faster enterprise growth. Firstly, to meet business obligations. An enterprise with positive working capital will have no difficulty in paying its employees, suppliers, operational expenses and in meeting other short-term obligations. Second, to fund growth. A positive working capital allows an organization to plan its growth without needing to take any additional debt. Remember that unnecessary debt leads to interest costs that can very well be avoided. Third, to improve credit worthiness. In the event that a company needs to borrow money, displaying a positive working capital makes it easier to obtain loans and other forms of credit. Fourth, to earn short-term profits. 
a positive working capital gives enterprises the option to put their excess funds in short term investments thereby creating profits for the enterprise fifth to earn reputation and goodwill an enterprise that has a positive working capital maintains a good image and reputation in the market making it easier to obtain contracts sixth to smoothen revenue fluctuations in industries where business is seasonal adequate working capital will ensure that the enterprise is able to meet all of its financial obligations even during the periods in which it generates less revenue seven to meet unexpected expenses having a favorable working capital will ensure that an enterprise is not faced with a cash crunch in the event of any unexpected expense arising so these are the seven major areas where working capital management is required to achieve faster enterprise growth did you know that clear can also help you increase your working capital by up to 7% through our max itc solution that completely automates the input tax credit claim process so far we have helped over 3000 enterprises save over 9000 crore rupees if you would like to explore the max itc solution to enhance your working capital and profitability please click on the link in the description of this video and don't forget to request a personalized demo we have now come to the end of the first video of the series the insider's guide to working capital management in this video we understood all about working capital management and its role in faster enterprise growth in our upcoming videos we will tell you all about common challenges faced by enterprises in working capital management and the five strategies to effectively manage your working capital so stay tuned also please don't forget to click on the link in the video description to explore clearmax itc solution and if you haven't already do subscribe to our channel for clear explanations on various finance concepts thank you